everyone welcome back to the channel it's amanda if you are new here and it's your first time welcome welcome to another episode of the aspiring artist and today we are actually doing a flashback episode we are playing in the past when mabel was around 16 years old as you guys saw from the intro we are currently with the moon family and i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick introduction to who they are so first up we do have haven moon and this is mava's best friend around this time and haven is a loyal sim and she's also a little bit of a klepto she's not as an adult but as a teenager she was downstairs we have haven's younger sister kathleen moon kathleen is only younger than haven i like to imagine by maybe one to two years they don't have a big age gap between them at all but she is the younger sister and kathleen is an art lover and a little bit of a jealous sim over here at the dining room table we have haven's parents sitting here and this is haven and kathleen's father edwin moon and edwin is a little bit of a loner He's also very ambitious and he's also a little bit paranoid. And last but not least, we have Haven and Kathleen's mother. This is Janae Moon and she is a maker. She's a little bit nosy and she's also very self-assured. And back to Mava, because she is a teen, she does only have two traits just like Haven and Kathleen. And so the two traits that Haven had as a teen are still the creative trait and she was already socially awkward. Mava had been like that most of her life she had always been um, a bit socially awkward and so she does have those two traits as a teen and we're going to go ahead and get started with the episode because I'm so excited to get into this okay guys I do want to tell you guys a little bit more about Mava and Haven's relationship I'm just going to let them go ahead and maybe play some games really quickly or I'm actually going to have them come into the bathroom and brush their teeth so I'm going to have Mava come in and brush her teeth first while I tell you guys a little bit more. And as you guys can see, her and Mava do have a very high friendship and they also have a little bit of a romance bar. It's very, very small, but it is there. And that is because even though Mava and Haven are best friends, they do also have a little bit of a romantic relationship between them. Very innocent, very much so, you know, just teenage, like first love type of relationship but it is there between them and I'm going to have Haven come in here and brush her teeth as well. I also want to show you guys their grades before they get ready to go to school. As you guys can see they are getting the pop up that school starts in about an hour for them. I'm actually going to pause again just for a little bit so that they don't leave automatically but as you can see Haven is a high school D student. She is not doing very well and same for Mava. Mava is also currently a high school the student as well kathleen is actually doing a bit better kathleen is a high school b student so she's doing way better than mava and haven both are currently doing in school right now and i also want to briefly touch on while kathleen is down here dancing i did pin her want to chat with mava Remember I mentioned that Kathleen is a little bit of a jealous sim, right? And I feel like Kathleen is jealous of Haven's close friendship with Mava because Kathleen also doesn't have very many friends either, right? And Kathleen has the art lover trait the same way that Mava is a creative. And I feel like Kathleen thinks her and Mava would have a lot in common, but she feels like Haven kind of keeps her from being close with her friend. You know what I mean? Kathleen is also performing better in school than Mava and Haven are and I think she feels a little bit like Haven gets to get away with that and she does not with her mother because Janae is very very strict. I'm going to have Janae and Edwin just kind of sit here and talk to each other a little bit. Now I mentioned earlier that Edwin is a paranoid sim and he does have a little bit of struggles when it comes to his mental health not to get like too heavy or anything but he does have some struggles with that he's very ambitious though and he does want to provide the very best for his family he wants to provide the very best for himself but edwin does struggle a lot but he does have a better relationship with the girls than janae has with them because i feel like to them edwin is probably more fun than Janae is because Janae is more strict. So he appears to be a bit more lenient. Currently, Edwin is not working because he is going through a period in his life where he is, he's struggling. Whereas Janae is a little bit nosy. She's also very strict. 
And she's a very self-assured sim, sim, like I said, and she wants her girls to also be very self-assured, right? But she's nosy because she feels like she has to be. She's not nosy just for the sake of it. She feels like she has to be because she knows that her husband, Edwin, does struggle and he struggles to pay attention to what the girls are doing because he has his own things going on so often, if that makes sense. But her being so strict also makes it a bit harder for the girls to really talk to her, to really open up to her. And her and Haven tend to butt heads a lot. Janae feels like she is shouldering everything in this household when Edwin is not capable of fully being there for her the way that she needs him to be. Okay, let me go ahead and unpause. And I'm going to have Mava go ahead and change her clothes. I'm going to have her just put on this outfit right here and i'm also going to have haven come out here and change her clothes as well i'm gonna have haven go ahead and change her clothes and they should be getting ready to head off to school in just a minute there we go okay okay guys so we have made it to the school with mava and haven and before they go in i do want to have them just chat a little bit outside of the school now i'm coming over here to the affection tab and this interaction right here you are my favorite it's an interaction that came with growing together, but Haven would say this to Mava a lot, right? Because I feel like Haven knows that Mava always needs that type of like reassurance because of how things are with Mava's home life. Like ha Haven's home life is not the best. It could definitely be better, but she feels like Mava constantly needs that reassurance, not in a negative way or not like an overwhelming way. But she does feel like she likes to reassure Mava as much as she can that you are my favorite person in the world. They're very, very close. They're very close. And it's very much so a mutual feeling between the two of them. And they just, they have a very, very close friendship, a very close relationship with each other. And they definitely are each other's like ride or die, definitely. And Mava does have a mood list saying forever the favorite from declared favorite. Mava has always known her status as the favorite, but the validation is still just as satisfying. Like Mava has always kind of needed somebody that was there for her. And as a teenager, she definitely did not have that support from her own family, but she did have it from Haven. But I'm going to have them head into school and we're actually probably going to do a cutscene because high school years is a mess. You guys, it's a mess to play through and I do not want to play through the school day with them. <laughs> so we're probably going to end up doing a small cutscene.
Hey guys, so the girls did leave school. They got on the train and came into the city because Haven did mention to Mava that, hey, do you want to go to an art museum after school today? Because Mava was feeling kind of down after Haven asked her about if she heard from her parents and things like that. And Mavie was feeling kind of down and Haven wanted to help cheer Mavie up. And I'm going to have them come in here together into the main floor. Apparently there was a football game after school, but they did not stick around for that because they don't care about those, those type of activities. They barely even care about school. They both have terrible grades, terrible performance, and they left school as soon as they could. I feel like Haven's gonna tell Mava like, hey, look at this, what do you think of this? You know, just trying to get Mava's mind off of things and all of that type of stuff. I feel like May's gonna be like, this is nice. I, I like this, this is pretty cool. And Haven's like, I agree, I think it's pretty cool too. Oh. And they're going to come over here and also look at this one after they're done viewing this piece. Like Haven does also like art a lot. Not as much as Mava does in terms of painting, but Haven does like to create things. She likes to make jewelry and all of that type of stuff. And so in that way, they are both very creative, but the painting is definitely more of Mava's thing and Haven. And Haven just knew that coming to the art museum would help cheer Mava up a little bit and get her mind off of how things are at home for her. And also they just weren't ready to go home after school. And I also want Haven and Mava to just chat a little bit. I'm gonna have her talk about dreams with Mava, and I feel like Haven's going to tell Mava, you know, one day your stuff could be in a place like this. Like your your stuff is just as good as this stuff. And Mava's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Like maybe this stuff's like really nice, and they're flirting with each other. They are so adorable. But I feel like Mava's like, this stuff is like really nice, and Haven's like, your stuff is like really nice, like. Your stuff could be in here just like these people's stuff is. And I feel like Mava's probably like, well, maybe my stuff on the wall with the paintings, your jewelry over here in the gift shop. It could be a thing. It could definitely be a thing someday. Like, I feel like Haven always has like these nice ideas and just kind of like, Haven is a lot more confident when it comes to thinking about her and Mava's abilities that Mava is definitely. Haven is always like encouraging Mava to believe in her abilities to create and I feel like that always gives Mava like the little boost of confidence that she really needs and she finds that in her best friend Haven but I feel like Haven is going to be like speaking of the gift shop over here I'm just going to duck off over there really quick and see if they have like any cool stuff and Mava's gonna be like okay sure go ahead I'll just look around a little bit more and I'm gonna have Mava view these things by herself and just really just take it all in here at the art museum that's Rico is calling for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and actually silence their phones. But like I said earlier, Haven is actually going to come over here into the gift shop by herself. And remember, I did mention earlier that Haven is a little bit of a klepto, right? And so she's kind of looking around in here. She sees like, hmm, there's no one else in the gift shop right now. No one's going to see me. And she's going to attempt to swipe one of these statues from the museum. And that made her feel very energized. She says, exhilarating still from kleptomaniac trait. Nothing is more thrilling than swiping objects from others. Now, Haven has no plans of actually keeping the item to like have around her bedroom or anything like that. Haven plans on reselling the item and getting a little bit of money off of it so that she can have some money in her pocket. And so I'm going to have her come out here and tell Mava like okay I'm not looking are you ready to go because it's almost eight o'clock and Haven doesn't want to deal with like hearing her parents complain about her coming home later anything like that and so she's going to tell Mava like are you ready to get going I'm done looking around and Mava's going to be like yeah we can get going um I'm done looking at the sculpture so I'm ready when you are okay guys so the girls have made it back home and they're getting ready to head into the house and it is currently 8 p.m and I I feel like Janae and Edwin are going to kind of question them about where they've been because it is so late and school got out hours ago. As you guys can see, Kathleen is already home and she's probably been home for hours and Mava and Haven 
are just now coming through the door a little bit after 8 p.m. Okay, so the girls come through the door and Edwin and Janae are already in the living room waiting for them to be home, right? Kathleen has been here. She's already upstairs and everything. And I feel like Janae is going to say something to the girls about how late in the day it is. Like where have they been? School got out hours ago. As you guys can see, Janae and Haven have a pretty awful relationship. Haven has a pretty awful relationship with her whole family because they just, they don't get along very well at all because of how strict Janae is and Edwin not being as present emotionally as he could be and Kathleen and Haven have the whole jealousy thing between them and it's just it's a little bit tense for Haven's household I'm gonna have Janae argue about house rules with Haven and she's just gonna be like where have you girls been and yes I would absolutely say Janae and Haven do have a difficult dynamic unfortunately mainly because Haven wants to do what she wants to do and doesn't feel like she has to listen to her parents right and as you guys can see Edwin is just kind of in the background just witnessing this and not really saying anything and I feel like that's why Edwin kind of gets away with being the more like fun and lenient one compared to Janae because Janae is always enforcing rules whereas Edwin just he's not he's not he's not really capable of being as present as he should be when it comes to the girls because Mava is their care dependent because she is staying here and Janae feels like she's just she's shouldering it all and so Edwin is going to come over here and he is going to join the conversation but he's not going to be upset about the rules or anything like that he's just going to be like you know your mother is right and you guys do need to try to you know come home at a decent time and we worry about you guys when you guys are out and we don't know where you are you know it is getting late and we were just worried about you meanwhile Janae it's like no it's not that I was worried it's that they don't listen Edwin so Janae gets a little bit frustrated with Edwin because she feels like her and Edwin are never on the same side right she feels like she's always trying to enforce things, trying to get the girls to listen to her. And Edwin comes along and just kind of immediately lightens the mood or immediately, you know, she feels like it's kind of undermining her a little bit, you know. And so she's like, Edwin, it's not that I was worried about where they were. I was, but it's also just about respect and it's about doing what they need to do. And I feel like Janae is kind of going to be like, you know what? You girls need to go upstairs, do your homework, get things done, and just go do what you need to do. Because Janae is just over it. Janae is tired. She had a long day of work herself, and she's just tired. And to get out of the conversation, Edwin is actually going to come in the kitchen and be like, you know what, I'm going to cook us all something to eat. How about like a nice dinner? I'm going to have him come in here and serve some dinner. He does not have good cooking skills so he's just going to make grilled cheese for everyone and while he's doing that Mava and Haven are going to be like okay we're going to go upstairs and get started on some homework right but they aren't going to do their homework because they they don't care about their homework at all and as Mava is heading up the stairs I feel like Kathleen sees Mava walking by because remember Kathleen does have a want to chat with Mava and so she's going to go ahead and she's going to be like Hey, May, you know, just like try to talk to her a little bit. I'm going to have her go ahead and try to share her insecurities with Mava. She's going to be like, hey, um, where were you guys? Like school was crazy for me today. And Haven is in the room in here and she hears Kathleen and Mava talking and she's going to be like, May, come on. And so May's going to be like, uh, I, I forgot we're supposed to be working on our homework um Kathleen so I'll I'll talk to you later and Kathleen's gonna be like yeah we we could talk later but they did get a sentiment together you make my day so much better thanks for making me smile Kathleen said that to Mava I really do feel like Kathleen wants to be friends with Mava they don't have a big age gap between them but she feels like Haven just kind of prevents her from having that type of bond with Mava that she would like to have but I'm going to have them go ahead and I'm going to have them change into their pajamas. So I'm actually going to let them go to the bathroom, 
get showers and stuff like that and then put on their pajamas and edwin is done cooking dinner and so i'm gonna have him go ahead and call everyone to meal so that they can all come eat i see that kathleen is getting a little bit tired Haven is feeling a little bit hungry and Mava is also very hungry because they didn't really eat their lunch either. They were too busy talking at school and so they didn't really eat their lunch. And so this is the first time they've eaten pretty much all day. I was going to have them all come sit and eat at the dinner table together. And I feel like Janae is feeling a little bit tense because of the conversation her and Edwin had to have a bit earlier about him stepping in in the wrong way when she's trying to discipline the girls you know what i mean and so janae is just like i'm done eating i'm gonna excuse myself away from the table and i feel like Maeve was gonna be like oh i could have got my plate um mrs moon and janae's like it's no problem i got it i'll clean it up you know and i feel like edwin's gonna be like did you guys do your homework and i feel like Maeve was gonna be like no we didn't um we didn't get our homework started yet because you know we just wanted to get cleaned up and all of that type of stuff haven has already excused herself away from the table because she's just like over it you know what i mean after her argument with her mother earlier like haven just wanted to eat as fast as she could and just get away from the dinner table and kathleen's going to be like well i'm going to go to bed so I'll see you guys in the morning and how's she feeling kathleen is actually feeling happy because she has a bitter sentiment towards someone feeling bad she's talking about towards haven because her and haven don't have a good relationship but she does have a pretty decent relationship with her parents right and so it says it could be a little gratifying to see someone suffering depending on the someone she's talking about haven because haven is not feeling good right now haven is feeling very uncomfortable she's feeling bitter and she has a simmering rage haven still feels let's see where is she it says haven still feels a quiet fury beneath the surface from grudges not yet forgotten she's talking about against her mother and that's making kathleen feel a little bit happy that haven is it's feeling bad haven's going to come out here she's going to be like we should just get started on our homework like we said we would do earlier let's just go upstairs right and may's going to be like yeah okay um thanks for dinner mr and mrs moon and edwin's like it's no problem it's no problem haven's going to be like let's just go upstairs and just do our homework now that they're upstairs i noticed that haven had the ability to enthuse about thrill of the still she's going to tell mava about the object that she took from the museum earlier today because maybe didn't see her take it she's gonna be like earlier at the museum i swiped something and i'm gonna get some money off of it and may's gonna be like i didn't even see you take anything haven and may's like i did i went in the shop and i took one of these little hand things that they had in there and i'm totally gonna sell it online and may's gonna be like haven you probably shouldn't have done that your mom's already so upset and haven's like my mom doesn't know she's not gonna find out and she's gonna be like you want to play some games before bed and may's gonna be like yeah we can play some games and so i'm going to let them go ahead and play a multiplayer game and i noticed that haven does have a want to be friendly with her mother be friendly with with janae and to me that's like haven does want a good relationship with her mom but she feels like her mother is so strict and always so stressed from dealing with basically everything with the household that they just don't have that you know what i mean and they're just gonna sit here and play together the tv is very small it's much different than what both of them are used to having with their lifestyles as adults but you know this is just this is where they came from this is how it was before and while they're still playing the game haven's gonna be like i'm actually getting a little bit thirsty i should have grabbed a glass of water before i came upstairs i'm just gonna run downstairs real quick may and i'll be right back and may's gonna be like sure go ahead go ahead i'll just keep playing the game and you just go ahead and grab something to drink and haven's going to come downstairs because she's feeling a little bit thirsty she didn't really grab anything to drink with her dinner because she was so busy being upset with her family and she's going to stop right here because she hears her parents talking in the kitchen when she thought everyone was asleep
Okay, so after Haven overhears her parents' conversation in the kitchen, she just comes back upstairs. Mava is still playing the game. May's gonna be like, are you okay? Where's your water? And Haven's just gonna like put on a happy face because she doesn't want to like alarm Mava to anything like going on with her parents but she is kind of concerned and May's just gonna be like are you okay like she's gonna go off the game she's gonna be like are you okay and Haven's like yeah yeah everything's fine um I did have a glass of water I just drank it downstairs but everything's fine and May's like oh, okay um I'm just making making sure usually you bring it up and have a glass by the bed and Haven's like yeah but I was just really thirsty tonight so I just drank it downstairs you know just didn't want, just didn't feel like bringing it back up. You know what I mean? And Haven's gonna be like, let's just go to bed. It's like super late and, you know, let's just get some sleep. And May's gonna be like, well, okay, yeah, let's just go to bed. You don't want to finish playing the game? And Haven's like, no, no, it's okay. I'm just kind of tired, you know? And so I'm gonna have them go to bed. Okay, guys, so it is the next morning. It is 7.30 and Janae is getting ready to head out and start her day. And Evelyn's going to go out with her to her tailor shop, but she is outside of Haven and Mava's door and she's just gonna like shout through the door because Haven does have her door locked. And she's just going to shout through the door and be like, girls, make sure you get to school on time. I'm going out, make sure you get to school on time and stay there all day and I feel like Haven's just gonna be like yeah mom okay have a good day and Kathleen's probably in her room like rolling her eyes like yeah right and I feel like Kathleen's gonna come out here and she's gonna be like you guys heard what mom said right like you guys have to go to school today well Kathleen's already heading off to school but I feel like she's going to just kind of say to like Kathleen on the way out like yeah whatever don't worry about what we're doing she's going to tell Mava like I have a better idea what if we like go to the pool it's going to be empty it's early everyone's busy at work and school we'll have like the whole pool to ourselves and Mava's gonna be like that sounds like a lot of fun let's let's do it okay guys so Haven and Mava have made it to the community pool it's not too far from Haven's family home they're supposed to be at school Janae told them to go to school but they actually came to the pool together right and so I'm just going to let them come on in. This pool was built by Windbrook. It is originally part of the Windbrook save file. And I'm going to have them come and sit over here together. Yeah, they just aren't really doing what they're supposed to be doing. And Janae knows it. Okay, and Haven also, part of what she spends her money on is on drugs and things like that. And so she did bring a joint with her to the pool and she's going to ask Mava like, hey, do you want to share this with me? And Mava's going to say yes, because this is this is the type of stuff that they do together when they're supposed to be in school. They're usually out doing these type of things together and just not not really doing what they're supposed to do. Right. Mava's parents haven't called and checked on her at all. They don't know where she is. I'm sure they assume that she is with Haven, but they don't really care. You know what I mean? They don't they don't care where Mava is. They're both focused on themselves. They're both being extremely selfish and they don't care where Mava is at. They don't care if she's going to school. They don't care what she's doing or who she's doing it with. And Haven's going to be like, hey, you want to go jump in the pool? Mavis going to be like, yeah, sure, let's go jump in the pool. I'm going to have them go ahead and I'm going to have them swim together because it is a nice day and they're already here and they came here to swim, right? They're in the water and they're just chatting. And I feel like Haven's probably like, this is much better than school, especially like that teacher yesterday upset, always accusing us of talking like other people are talking too, you know? And Mavis probably like, well, Haven, you were kind of talking like you were being loud too and it was like I was not being loud like he's just he's annoying Haven's probably like he's always on us he's never picking on anyone else in class he's always just focused on us he's always singling us out because Haven and Mava don't really have like a big social group they honestly don't really have like a social group at all it is really just it is really just the two of them you know and they don't really include Kathleen Haven tries to talk to, I mean, Mava tries to talk to Kathleen, but Haven kind of just wants Mava to herself as her friend. You know, she's very protective over Mava, and Mava is also protective over Haven as well. They don't have anyone else in their social group, and they also don't really allow anyone else 
in their little duo that they have going on either. They are perfectly content with it being the two of them and really just being protective of each other. Let's see, how is Haven feeling? Haven is feeling like she has a special connection from feeling close with someone nearby. Feeling close with a sim can deepen existing romantic feelings and make Haven want to get even closer. She's also feeling stoned. She have it, she's has a deep connection and she also has surrounded by my friends from being loyal. Mava is also feeling a deep connection. She has shared joy from a close sentiment towards someone feeling good. Seeing that someone Mava cherishes is feeling happy brings some joy to Mava too. And she's also feeling a little bit stoned right now. And so they're just out here just having a good time cutting school, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? And I'm going to have Mava go ahead and splash Haven just a little bit like in a playful way <laughs> and they're just kind of playing in the water together just enjoying just enjoying their day of cutting class and not really knowing how things are going to end up changing for them because i feel like haven's gonna be like hey can we get out for a second i i want to talk to you about about something that's kind of bothering me and kind of why i didn't want to go to school today and May's gonna be like yeah you want to go talk over over here and Haven's gonna be like yeah we can go talk over there in the shade and so I'm gonna have them come up here together let's see what is she doing she's boasting about messing around okay Haven <laughs> it's also very strange seeing Mabel without all of her tattoos this is a first I'm used to seeing her basically covered in tattoos from the neck down so it's a little bit bizarre to me I'm going to have her whine about her unfair life. She's going to tell Mava like, okay, so last night I did go down to get my water, right? And May's like, yeah. And she's like, when I went down there, I didn't even get to go into the kitchen because my mom was in there telling my dad about how she's going to send me away to be with my aunt and uncle out in Oasis Springs, right? And May's like, since when do you have family out in Oasis Springs? And... Haven's like, my mom has family out that way. And she was talking about wanting to send me out there to go live with them. She feels like there's nothing for me here. She was talking all this stuff about how we're distracting each other and about how I'm not even on track to graduate and just all this stuff, right? And May's like, do you think they'll really do that? And Haven's like, I don't know. I don't think my dad would, but I think my mom would, definitely. I think she would send me away. May's like, did they sound serious? And Haven's like, my dad was like trying to tell her, don't do it. Like, there's no need for all of that. And my mom was just kind of like set on it. You know what I mean? And May's like, well, maybe she was just tired. Like, you know how hard your mom works? And I don't, I don't think that she would do that. And Haven's like, I would like to think that she wouldn't do that, but... I don't know she seemed like really upset and Haven's just gonna go ahead they are getting a little bit hungry I'm going to I'm going to let them go ahead and head home pretty soon because they've been here the whole school day because she's gonna be like I hate the idea of them splitting us up and leaving you by yourself because she does she feels like her and Mava rely on each other a lot for a lot of emotional support they are very reliant on each other for emotional support and may's like just try not to worry about it right now you don't know anything nothing's set in stone your mom was probably just venting and haven's like i hope so but i just really hate the idea of them splitting us up i'm going to have the girls go ahead and become best friends forever because to me this is like haven and mayla's way of saying like no matter what happens, no matter what your parents do or don't do, you're my girl for life, basically. You know, like, nothing's breaking that up for us. Mabel's gonna be like, I'm burning up out here. Let's go home. It's, like, way past school time, and they won't even know. And Haven's gonna be like, okay, but we should probably change back into our same clothes. And May's gonna be like, good idea. And so they're going to come into the locker room, and they're gonna change back into their regular clothes before they leave to go home. Okay, so the girls are back home, and it is 5 p.m., but I feel like it's not so late that Janae is gonna be like super concerned about if they went to school or what they were doing or anything like that. And she's just going to get dinner started because it is around that time. I'm gonna have them come in, and I feel like Kathleen is gonna be like, oh, it's about time you showed up. Kind of like in a snarky way 
to um haven kathleen is going to be like oh it's about time you showed up school got out two hours ago and haven's going to be like it's not my fault some of us have a life after school kathleen maybe you should try it but i'm just going to have them all come eat and kathleen is going to grab a serving i feel like kathleen was like i don't want to sit by haven you know something like childish like that like our kids are and haven is in here cleaning up the dishes after everyone has finished up eating and I feel like, and Haven's going to say to Maven, now that everyone else has gone upstairs, she's going to be like, I don't think they suspected anything. And he's like, it doesn't seem like it. Like, no, I don't, I don't think they're, I don't think they're suspicious of anything. I'm going to let them, their room is an absolute mess. But I'm going to let them just get on the game again together. Again, not doing any homework, not a care in the world just doing whatever they want to do right it says that haven is actually feeling a little bit tense about playing the game she's not really interested right now and i think it's because she's so worried about the conversation that she heard her parents having and so i'm gonna have her actually be like you know what i'm actually not really feeling it right now you know and Maeve's gonna be like yeah me either maybe maybe we don't have to play the game tonight she's just gonna say to Maeve, like i'm just really worried you know, I'm trying not to think about it, but I'm just really worried. And Mavis like, let's just lay down. You can't worry about things that we don't know yet. Like, we don't know. We don't know if they're going to do anything. And Haven's like, you're right. Let's just, let's just lay down and relax. Okay, so the girls are asleep because they didn't really feel like gaming after Haven started to feel a bit more worried about what was going to happen between her and her parents and them wanting to send her away to Oasis Springs. She feels a big sense of responsibility to Mava and she feels a bit guilty about the potential of being the reason why Mava has to go back home even though it wouldn't be her fault. It's not Haven's fault that Mava's home life is the way it is and Mava also doesn't blame Haven for that at all. Those are just feelings that Haven has. And she's just really worried about what that means for their friendship and them not being in close proximity to each other anymore. So it's just a lot on both of their minds right now. But okay, guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this flashback episode. We may have another one of these in the future before Haven is introduced as an adult because that is a little bit off into the future for us so we may end up doing another one of these flashback episodes showing what happens for them next and for their friendship but either way that is where i'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe take care of yourselves and i'll see you all next time bye guys